Ladies, gentlemen, loyal subscribers of YouTube, I am back. Sort of. We'll get to that in a little, uh, little moment here. But guys, it has been almost two weeks since I last uploaded a video. How have you guys been? I know I have been extremely well, as I will get into right now, but you can probably already tell this from the gameplay in the background. As you can probably tell from the sheer beauty of the background uh, footage here, this is a mission to Minmus that I flew earlier on today, by the way. I am no longer using Pete, my current or my previous uh, computer that I had used for so very, very long beforehand. I had used Pete and his integrated graphics and AMD quad-core processor since 2013 when I first actually started taking this channel seriously. I think it's fair to say that without Pete I would not be in the position that I am today with regards to YouTube, but the time has unfortunately uh, come around to actually replace him with something a little bit more modern, a little bit more purpose-built. And so for that I have bought Keith. I'll probably put an image on screen now, uh, if not then it's going to be on my Twitter, in fact it is already on my Twitter if you guys want to look at that, I will leave a link to that in the description as always. But the specs of Keith are as follows, an Intel i5-4460, uh, processor there, that's quad core obviously because it's an i5, a GTX 960 graphics card um, from Zotac which is amazing, it's beautiful. Um, I have a gigabyte something or other motherboard, I can't remember what it is. 16 gigs of GDDR3 RAM, which is amazing for video editing. It's beautiful. I've been editing this video together, another thing that I'll be coming on to in but a moment. But it's just su it's such a dream to have 16 gigs of RAM and a 128 gig SSD built into him as well. All in a Corsair uh, Spec 1 case with some lovely red LEDs and it looks rather nice indeed. All this naturally means, of course, as you can see in the gameplay in the background, that I am able to run Kerbal Space Program at a very stable 60 frames per second plus um, with Scatterer, uh, with stock visual enhancements and many other mods all installed at once. And it's just such a good feeling. I can finally play these graphically intensive mods that I've really wanted to play but haven't really been able to in the past just simply because of the, uh, of the demanding nature of them. Um, for integrated graphics in Pete, but now that I have a dedicated graphics card and a good one at that in uh, in Keith here, I'm able to actually run these at very, very high settings. This is pretty much max graphics settings with perhaps the textures put down to half resolution and I'm able to run this at 60 frames a second, no problem whatsoever. I did say a couple of seconds ago that 16 gigabytes of RAM is amazing for video editing. And I've found that out personally because once again, thanks to, thanks, and I have to, I have to seriously give my upload most thanks here to Preston once again from the KSP Designer. I will link his channel in the description down below. Once again, I am making a documentary with him at the moment, which is nearly finished with the script. We've just got a couple more scenes left to go, and then we can start recording and filming and stuff like that. Should be out sometime this year, maybe, hopefully. But I have to give mad props to Preston over at the KSP Designer for sorting me out with a copy of Adobe Premiere Pro. Yes, no longer will I have to suffer in the agony of Power Director 12. Um, this is may maybe a temporary fix, it may be a permanent fix depending on how I get on with the software. Um, but it is amazing to actually have a high quality editing software that I can now actually put together some really cool stuff with. It's very complicated to learn and I'm still very much learning it, that's perhaps why the intro of this video didn't particularly wasn't particularly great compared to some of the ones that I've done in the past, maybe. Um, but I definitely think it looks very, very cool, especially with this whole 60 frames a second thing now, because of the obviously recording the gameplay with Shadow Play, because I have an NVIDIA graphics card now. Just makes everything look so much nicer and so much more just awesome in general. So like I say, mad props to uh, to Preston now. I genuinely am really thankful for him helping to, helping to sort me out with a copy of Premiere Pro, because... It's just so good. It's so good to finally have a uh, have a, an editing software that I know that is flexible and uh, that is respected throughout the community. And so as we come into land on the plains of Minmus, the big question's probably coming up in your guys' minds. Brothers! Where the bloody hell were you? It's been nearly two weeks! <clears throat> yeah, that's, uh, that, that is true. And uh, in case you've been wondering where I've been, 
I took a bit of a break. Like I say, I did have a video planned, but then obviously the whole thing with buying Keith happened, and I still haven't transferred all of my files from Pete over to Keith, so that's something that's going to be happening. On top of that, I have my Geology AS exam a week tomorrow, as of recording this, I'm recording this on the Sunday. I have my first Geology exam on May 16th, so I've got that revising for. On top of that, I've try been trying to enjoy this lovely weather we've been have having in Britain over the past couple of weeks, or a couple of days even, and it has been, it's just been really nice. I've been trying to live my life a bit, get outside a bit, because I haven't done that enough recently. And um, I really do feel like I just needed a bit of a break from YouTube. I was kind of getting a bit burned out, I guess. But here we're back, and I'm just going to start creating even more high-quality content for you guys now that I actually have a computer that's capable of producing just insane, it's literally insane stuff uh, with regards to games. Like, it can run War Thunder at movie quality at upwards of 60 frames a second. I don't think it's ever once dropped below at the maximum settings, which is incredible. And I'll probably be bringing you guys some more War Thunder if you want to see it. Which brings you on to the next subject, actually, of this video. As you guys know, this channel's basically... The whole reason it's successful is because of Kerbal Space Program and specifically KSP News. However, I would like to start branching out into more, perhaps, mainstream games? Maybe not necessarily mainstream, but ones that are less to do with space. I'm still going to be doing Kerbal Space Program and War Thunder, obviously. They're the two uh, games I'm going to continue with. I'm never going to stop playing them because, well, it's what you guys want, it's what you came here for. I enjoy playing them, so I don't really see any reason to stop doing them. Um, but I do want to sort of branch out and go into other games, although I'm not quite sure which ones to do yet. I have been considering GTA 5 for a long time, although I don't actually have it on PC personally yet. Um, but I know that it's kind of a 50-50 split between you guys as to whether you want to see GTA 5 or whether you don't. Um, but I'd like to leave it as and sort of like an open invitation to you in the comments section down below. Um, what, what would you like to see? Would you like to see Battlefield? Because I know Battlefield 1 is something that I'm definitely looking forward to as a, a long-term fan of the Battlefield franchise. That's something that I am really looking forward to and I may even be able to play it on my PC at respectable settings when it comes out. So if you want to see that then let me know. That's something that I'd be willing to play. Um, I am willing to do stuff like Space Engineers and stuff. I do have Space Engineers, although I'm terrible at that game. Um, but I kind of want to move away from stuff to do with space specifically and leave the spacey sort of stuff for Kerbal Space Program um, videos and stuff like that. I'll leave all the orbital mechanics, stories from space, KSP News obviously, um, like the epic mission cinematics and stuff. I'll leave them um, for Kerbal Space Program only, I guess for the moment, unless you guys think otherwise obviously. Um, and I want to try and start branching out into sort of more sort of mainstream games, although maybe you guys won't like that and so if you don't like that and just leave the your opinion in the comments down below and leave your opinions in the comments down below as to what um, what games you'd like to see me play because I know there's a lot that I want to play um, but not a lot that I ne don't necessarily have the time to record so if I'm going to have to do like if I'm going to do like a let's play of a single player game or something then I best set aside the time to do that if you guys want to see it of course. Just listened back to all those previous uh, segments of commentary there. Just found out just found out that this video is kind of a bit convoluted. That is because I'm recording this at like gone 11 o'clock at night. I have college tomorrow morning. Um, I've been at work all day and uh, it's been really, really hot. So I'm kind of a bit dopey today. Um, I'm kind of all over the place. I don't really know what's going, what's coming, what's hither or thither at the moment. I'm just trying to sort of keep it together because I feel like I owe you guys a video um, after, after such a long time. Just sort of checking in, just saying, you know, I'm not dead, I'm still here, I'm still making videos, I'm still going to be doing a Q&A as soon as we reach 1500 subscribers. As of recording this, we're one away, so by the time this goes up we may have passed it, I'm not sure. I will do that Q&A as soon as I get time to actually do it. Um, hopefully I should have a bit more time in the next couple of weeks or so, uh, because obviously exams and stuff will be over, um, for the most part anyway, for the ones that matter. Um, so I will be... Um, I will hopefully be back and making videos, and look at that! I never knew this with the stock visual enhancements, but the moon, when it's in an eclipse um, around Kerbin, actually casts a shadow like it would in real life. Huh. That looks really, really cool. As does Scatter as well, now I've actually got it on high settings and everything. It's just a beautiful, beautiful mod, and I'm so glad I can now run it at like a respectable frame rate without my game crashing or having 1FPSville one one FPS population me or something like that. 
But I'm really, really glad, guys, that uh, you guys are continuing to support me, that we are so close now to 1,500 subscribers. In fact, we probably have surpassed it by the time I've uploaded this video. I'm sorry, like I say, if this video was sort of convoluted and messy and just all over the place. It kind of represents my life at the moment. Um, hopefully, by the time it's summer, in a few weeks' time, say six, seven weeks, I will be back to normal. I will still try and get as many videos as I can out in the meantime. But unfortunately, I can't make many promises uh, for the time being because of everything and just the unpredictable nature of everything at the moment. Um, so I will try my best to get as many videos as I can out in that time. Um, but obviously, you know, college, I've got to put first and everything. Um, and I'm also going to put my life first because I don't want a repeat of um, the last summer of me uh, doing things that perhaps <laughs> perhaps I shouldn't have done. Um, maybe I'll elaborate on that in, a, in another video when I'm feeling in a, a sort of a deep meaningful conversation mood. But uh, that's pretty much going to round it off for this episode, guys. If you did enjoy, please remember to leave a like and of course subscribe for more as we splash down back in Kerbin's oceans. Beautiful oceans. This is Brad signing out and as always, peace out.